think that's what we're going to see coming out of this sort of crucible of the last couple of years is clearing out a lot of the chaff yeah. from the hype of 2020 and 2021. Now we go really early at Genoa and so we had the, I would say, advantage of, of picking our bets and being really disciplined about pricing. I think it was a little harder for later stage investors who were just had a deluge of a lot of companies that maybe were not particularly selected well. There wasn't a lot of selection pressure. Right. So coming out of that, I think this is a healthy reset. It's mm. obviously very difficult for a lot of people, and I don't want to trivialize that. But as far as kind of the math, how, how the math works in venture, yeah, you need to have a little bit more balance between who gets the money and who gets to keep going. But is the math in venture different than this than say like a consumer tech company or like mm -hmm. in the or like consumer tech sector or ad tech, for example? Yeah. It's hard to talk about this in the context of what's going on in, in tech because there are just just a small number of really huge companies that control so right. many of these spaces. But with biotech, is the bet different? Yeah, I love this question. We think it is, particularly our biotech. So often when people say biotech, they're thinking about drug companies, yeah. mm -hmm. right? which are very important and have been have demonstrated that you can invest in fundamental innovation in biology and not only change the world, but make a lot of money. So we think that's true much more broadly with biology-based companies that include other ways to participate in healthcare, like diagnostics, precision medicine, but also other bio-based verticals that aren't even about healthcare, like what did you eat this morning? Like, that was biology. Right. Hey, um, um, uh, Carol, you weren't here for this, and hopefully you weren't paying attention because you're on vacation. But Apple wasn't. unveiled this new <laughs> suite of devices I on, did on read Monday, a bit. and <laughs> one thing that interested me was the the focus on health. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, what did you make of their move into hearing health with this idea of using air, uh, I, AirPods as a hearing aid, mm -hmm. and then also the sleep apnea stuff with the Apple Watch? Mm -hmm. What's your view on that? I think the broad theme is is exactly what we're saying, which is uh, companies coming from tech and investors coming from tech are seeing that it's very important to get information about what's going on with a person before they become a patient, right? And that's where we can really intervene in uh, better wellness outcomes. Now, Genoa invests in more really fundamental biology with the understanding that probably can't get everything you need to know about, say, cancer or drug selection from uh, from sound. So you are going to have to take a biological sample. You are going to have to analyze that one way. That's where we get into genomics and proteomics and those kinds of terms to get kind of the advanced information that's going to help patients and doctors. What would you think, I'm thinking about the Bloomberg audience who's listening, in terms of biotech, yeah. What what aren't we talking about a lot? You know what I mean? Like, I feel like when it comes to, we think about technology and healthcare space or something, it's like, all right, so I don't have to go in and fill out the forms anymore. Right. But what are you seeing yeah. that's just kind of really innovation next step when it comes to biotech? I love this question because we think it, it comes down to broadening the definition of technology. And, and you already kind of alluded to it because it included in your example, the hardware. Mm -hmm. So sometimes when people say tech, they're thinking about software. So data, AI, yes, lots of great stuff going on there. I'm tired of counting my steps. I've like right? gone back to a normal watch. <laughs> you, still, you count them yourself? You know, I, there are devices you know that can what? do that. I kind of know at the end of the day, have I walked or have I sat on my butt really a lot? <laughs> you, right, exactly. Sorry. Yeah. But if you get improvements in those kind of hardware innovations yeah. and chemistry and things that we can't even see, like at the microscopic level, it can really change how you think about impacting healthcare in a way that goes well beyond uh, kind of the, the current tech. So yeah. carry it out for us. So tell me, yeah. like, in five years, yeah. you know, I don't know, tell us where this might all go. Yeah. Well, one of the things I would say, Genoa, we're very early stage investors. We like to be that first round capital partner in venture. Right. So we're thinking seven to 10 years at the earliest and then kind of the 100 year thesis about how can biology change all of our lives. Again, not just healthcare, but the food that we eat, the things that we make, the chemicals, the manufacturing. How can we do that in a way that's more sustainable and beneficial to the planet? So do we get, so go, where, yeah. where does it go? So it goes to more efficient uses of inputs to make better crops that people want to eat that are healthy for them and healthy for the planet. That's, that's also biotech. 